And this is why they shouldn't invite these gorilla grape juice slurpers to events like these. Yo, They're chill. always loud and obnoxious. You're a racist ass. Do you say gorilla you grape? Want, what do you say? These gorilla grape juice slurpers to events like these. They're That's always crazy. loud and obnoxious. <laughs> Man, what is good with y'all? It's your boy OG from the Woke Clan. We're right back with another video. This time, we are reacting to Naruto Unhinged, episode six. The exams begin. I think on last episode, we had Rock Lee from the L Block doing Sasuke dirty, bro. He was doing Sasuke and Naruto dirty. He said, fuck swing set on the last episode. Can't wait to see what happens here. Who was the first pair to fight in, the, in an exam? So I forgot who it was. It was Neji and Hinata, right? So I, I wonder if this is what this is gonna be about. I'm gonna stop wasting y'all time and let's get straight to it. I do not own Naruto or any other series related to it. This video is a parody for entertainment purposes and for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. But with all that said, Yo, please enjoy the video. Where's the full song at, bro? I hear this every time and it's, it's catchy as hell. Where the full song at? Episode six, the exams begin. This is supposed to be the start of the real exams. Yet this room is full of white. It really is. Well, if you think about it, there really, it really isn't a is. point for someone that's black to participate in this exam. Since by default, they have. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It's the real nigga exams. In a room full of white people. No, nah, that's backwards. You're backwards. Have the pass and label. Being black doesn't Wait, automatically make you a real nigga. Exam. Mm. Since by default they have the pass and label, being black doesn't automatically make you a real nigga. Take Iruka, for example. Sure, he's part black and he's one of my day ones. But respectfully, that nigga is pussy. Damn. I guess he has a point. Hey, my love. <gasps> Did you miss me? Yo, yo, yo. Sakura, bro, what you gonna do? We're gonna have a little fight. What's going on? Yo, that's your man. That's your man's. You gonna let another girl hop on your man's like that? Come on now. Let me see. Hold on. Look, he don't even like her, bro. No. Actually, look, he's like, hey, bitch, look, I'm in front of my girl right now. That that's Sasuke's side chick right there. He mad because he supposed she supposed to be on a low about it. She's supposed to be on a low. You know what I'm saying? Man, fucking up a good thing. Get your maggot-infested coochie away from my man's, you dirty b Damn! Girl, please! He doesn't even like your 13-year-old boy-looking ass. Eno, you two have the same build. Damn! Now, can you please stop embarrassing our team? Oh, shit. It's been a minute since I've seen you, my nigga. Yo, them chips are crunchy, bro. Them chips are crunchy as hell. This is my nigga Shikamaru. He's mad smart, and he always- Nigga chewing on Jolly Ranchers like, what the fuck? He keeps it real when talking to you. He's one of my day ones, because I knew him since I was little. This fat piece of shit named Choji. This nigga stole my chips one day, so I called him a fat ass nigga, and he beat the bricks off of me. <laughs> Damn. This is Eno. There's not much to say about her, because she also happens to be a Sasuke d writer. But at least she knows how to control herself. I knew I wasn't tweaking. I knew I smelled some trash coming from this direction. This hater's name is Kiba. Him and his family live with dogs, which is probably why he always smells like piss. For whatever reason, he likes snake. to always hate on me. I'm starting to get tired of his shit. Nigga, you better pray to the great sage that they don't put me up against you. Because I swear, I'm going to kick the fuck out of that weak-ass jaw. Yeah, Damn. Whatever. Just try not to get beat up by Choji before you get the chance to do that. That fat-ass nigga ain't going to do shit. He just caught me by surprise last time. Yo, hey, Cho hey, Choji mean business. Hey, he walked up like, wait, what did you say? Hold my chips, my nigga. Matter of fact, don't hold my chips. I hold my chips. What the fuck you just say? <laughs> that nigga is on time. And Shino, get out of my way. Relax, Choji. We're all here for the first exam. If you start a fight now, your team might be disqualified before it even begins. So calm down. For now, at least. Damn it, you're right. This is Shino. I don't know too much about him except that he's always super serious and he likes to mess with bugs. I ain't gonna lie, Shino look cool. 
Gino look cool. He looked chill. Look, you can't see it's like he got the little hood right here. He got that a little afro and shit. He grew up kind of soft though. You can see him on Boruto. He kind of weird. But right here, he cool. Kind of weird if you ask me. Hey Naruto, have you heard the new NBA Young Boy song? I I thought it was pretty good. Since when what? did she listen to NBA Young Boy? I listened to it the minute it dropped. Young Boy went crazy. This is she Hinata. Funny. She's she really funny. shy and kind of weird. But I don't mind it though, cause she listens to Young Boy just like me. Also, she doesn't tell people this, but she listens to Sexy Red. I haven't heard you say anything since you got here, Sasuke. Plus, it's been a minute since I saw. It's the always the shy ones. It's always the shy ones. Goat himself. The glaze that just came out this nigga Kiba's mouth is crazy, but he's right, cause you've been mad quiet. You still have to tell me what you got your streak number to last night. We're supposed to be having a competition, remember? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. I decided not to have my nightly session because something felt off about last night. What do you mean? I woke up to start my edge session, but I felt drained before I could even start. And on top of that, I could have sworn I saw someone outside my window. That's a little creepy. Did uh -oh. something happen? Uh-oh, no. big brother, big From bro. What I can tell, nothing happened. I probably just wasn't thinking straight because I got kicked in the face by that L block bitch a few hours before then. Getting kicked in the face doesn't cause that to happen, even if it's from a member of L Block. I don't think that's how that works, my nigga. But anyways, listen to this. I was able to get my number up to 12 last night, so I guess that makes me the winner. I can't even be mad about losing because that's actually pretty impressive. 12 is crazy. Especially since that was your first wait, session. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, let's think about this. 12 is insane. I don't understand it. Do niggas do this for... Is this a real thing, bro? Am I tripping? He... Oh, no, no. Take take a little second. No, 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 no! Don't touch it. Touch it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm fine. Twelve times. All right, come on, bro. This shit is crazy. You two can stop talking now. I'm starting to think you might be gay, so let's just switch the subject. Why? Do you think eating. there's something wrong with being gay? Oh, I knew he was gay. <laughs> no, not at all. They just randomly started talking about an edging competition, so it's a little strange. That's all. I have a problem with that statement, because the moment something remotely gay came up in the conversation, you wanted to switch topics. Even if it came up randomly, it shouldn't even matter. Or maybe it's because we have more important things to worry about because we're about to start our first exam. I'm not buying that sorry statement you call an excuse. What the hell is your problem? He didn't mean it like that. Yeah, why do you seem so offended by what just happened? If you're gay, then I guess I can somewhat see why you might feel that way. Gay? No, no. As a matter of fact, I'm probably one of the most straightest people you'll ever meet. So my bad if I came at you a little aggressive. I'm just a major supporter. Whatever, dude. Next time, just try to see what I actually meant first before trying to cancel me. Right. Now that that's over up, with, move on. Why did you even come over? Who are here? you? Why are you even I here? I came over here because everyone can tell that was, you guys was, are the rookie ninjas participating this year. I don't remember him in the early like episodes, bro. I don't. So I wanted to give you guys some information I have about I some know of the from, other ninjas I didn't even know that are also from, participating, like, from just so all you guys have a fair chance no, at getting not. that label. That's some real nigga shit. He, is. he might actually be valid. I appreciate the compliment. What? But let me get started so I can tell you what I know before the first exam starts. Everything I learned is held on these very cards. Listen up closely, because this information might be very useful to some of you. What does your video sound like? Go to artlist.io and get the best music and sound effects for your video. Every year when these exams are held, ninja from all the villages come to participate. Mm -hmm. But this year is special, mainly because of the name being changed to the real N-word exams and the extra reward you get for passing. Most of us already heard about that, so you're not really telling us anything new. This ain't new, Just tell bro. us about the new. people we need to look out for. Well, fuck me for trying to make this a proper explanation. Pause. I've only known you for a few minutes and no I already diddy. don't like you. Yeah, well, 
The feeling's mutual, so get on with the explanation. I hate this little brat. This is the first person you all should watch out for. His name is Rock Lee. Lee is he got a do -rag. I'm member weak. <laughs> and prodigy of L Block. The one thing you need to Yo. look out for is his use of instigation. Him being from L Block should be a dead giveaway about it, but he's better than most other members at using it. So be careful and don't fully trust him. He because that if business. he thinks he can instigate you into a fight, then he will with no hesitation. Why is he wearing a do rag? It's probably how he keeps his hair so shiny. Plus, I heard it's a part of his training, Great but hands. I'm not sure what that entails. There's someone on his team you should watch out for, too. This person is a member of the Huga clan, so I don't have too much information on him because his clan Was is. Was that a teardrop, bro? But what I do know is that he's one of the most talented ninjas that are participating this Neji year. didn't caught a this body at 11? Was talking about. You also remind me of one of my teammates. He is also from a gated community like you, but he likes to say he's from the hood. I feel like you two would get along very well. I heard the Huga clan is a gated community, yet he has a teardrop tattoo. So basically, this nigga is a poser. Say some. This is the next person you should watch out for. His name is Gara, but most people know him as the white supremacist of the Sand Village. There's no hey, that way name you're about to give crazy. that racist a proper introduction. We met his bitch ass the other day and his homeboy was just as bad as him. The only normal one was their sister. Since you already know about him, let me leave you with this. I heard he once had a teammate who he thought agreed and supported his beliefs. Gara ended up finding out that was false, and the teammate was never seen again. So my word of advice is, if you see him, your best bet is to just agree with him. Just so you don't make yourself one of his targets. Sound like some pussy shit. And Naruto ain't about that. So that guard Sasuke ain't about that. So that guard must have had a major crash out when he felt betrayed. Interesting. With all that said, we're pretty much done. That's everyone we needed to talk about. Wait, why was Rock Lee there? Because he wasn't there when they announced him. And so now he's kind of there. Okay, whatever. You only told us about three people. How is that everyone you needed to talk about? Take a look around the room and you'll see why I said that. Yeah, they trash. They I all look lie. like goons and side characters. So they most likely won't be a problem. That's Did right. he just call us some fucking side characters? Because we ain't never seen y'all ever again. Like, bro, y'all wasn't even a factor. Y'all not a factor. Like, if y'all really think about it, I ain't never seen none of these niggas ever again. This nigga especially. Where he go? Did he die? Like, who are these people? Were they in the war? They look badass. They look badass. Like, they know something. But, yeah, they just... And look, he from the same... He from Konoha. Garbage. They all look like goons and side characters, so they most likely won't be a problem. Did he just call us some fucking side characters? So basically, that means all you niggas must be ass. I'm starting to get used to hearing him say that. Man, these exams gonna be mad easy. Huh. I know some hoes that would love his confidence, and for some reason that doesn't bother me. And this is why they shouldn't invite these gorilla grape juice slurpers to events like these. Oh, They're always chill. loud and obnoxious. You're a racist. Did he ass say gorilla grape? What do you say? These gorilla grape juice slurpers to events like these. They're Ask always loud and obnoxious. You're a racist. Ask and think whatever you want. But I actually like his confidence. First, he calls us side characters. Then that brat calls us ass. I have a reason for being here, so I'm not going to sit and get disrespected like this. Shut up. The fuck is wrong with this nigga? <laughs> Look at that slow ass punch. These really are some goon side characters. <laughs> that was oh. a cute little trick you just did. Crash your glasses. Sus vibration jutsu. <laughs> what did you just do to him? No. No. You of all people should know that I have my reasons for being here and that I'm not a fucking side character. 
Fest Vibration Jutsu. Hey! Calm your little asses down so we can start this motherfucking exam. Ooh. We're about to see which one of you crayon eaters is a real nigga. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, I'm hype. The voice. Hey, I'm glad he chose that voice. It makes so much sense, bro. It makes so much sense. Let's go. I can't wait for that to like, bro. That was a great like build up episode. You feel me? Setting the exams, getting everything going, introducing more characters. That was really good. Really, really good. Um, Hanata listening to Young Boy is crazy, insane. Autumn character, like, bro, I haven't seen Naruto in a long time. So seeing all them people in the background and never seeing them again in Naruto is insane. Fucking Neji had a teardrop. Rock Lee had a do rag on. What's going on, bro? And Kabuto, right? Kabuto, sus vibration, and bro with the scars came in with the nigga voice. What more can you ask for? This that unhinged, baby. This that unhinged. Hey man, one more time. Shout out to Barack Obizi for the vid. That's my reaction. But OG from the Wall Clan, out.